Colombia news that a special anti-robbery squad size of the Nigerian police force has been scrapped in the wake of the raging NSAS protests and replaced with SWAT, the special weapons and tactics. Here is all you need to know about the new outfit SWAT, as outlined by Inspector General of Police Mohamed Adamu in a memo which he sent to Deputy Inspectors General of Police, Assistant Inspectors General of Police, Commissioners of Police and Commandants of Police Colleges. SWAT, according to the IGP, will comprise officers and men that will be selected based on clearly defined criteria. They are to be specifically trained in weapons handling and tactical operations. Adamu said they will be oriented to operate within very high professional and ethical standards, rule of law, and best international policing practices that will align with national democratic values and yearnings of the citizens. He said the mandate of the SWAT team will be intelligence-led and limited to response to robbery attacks, response to scenes of weapon-related crimes, rescue operations, special operations involving high-profile criminals that constitute threats to national security, including anti-banditry and counter-terrorism, and counter-insurgency operations which will require special tactical response. The IGP said the outfit shall comprise of a state commander, second in command, and 36 other officers and men. The breakdown is as follows. One chief superintendent of police as state SWAT commander, one superintendent of police as two IC state SWAT commander, three deputy superintendents of police as section commanders, and three assistant superintendents of police as two IC section commanders. Others are 24 inspectors and non-commissioned officers as operatives and another six NCOs as drivers. He said in the long term, the number of SWAT teams per state will be expanded based on the assessment of the security realities of each state command. On the selection criteria, he said they must be between the ages of 25 and 40 years for operational elements and between the ages of 35 and 45 years for command elements. The IGP said they must have not less than seven years policing service experience and be physically fit to withstand the rigor of SWAT training and operation. He said the physical fitness tests will include COPAS tests. The SWAT personnel must be certified as medically, emotionally, and psychologically fit and will all as a critical prerequisite undergo and pass medical examination, psychometry, and toxicological screening for drug abuse, which will be conducted by the police medical services during training. Those found to be unsuitable shall be discharged, he said. He also said they must not have any pending disciplinary matter or any serious previous record of professional misconduct touching on intemperate behavior, incivility to members of the public, corrupt practices and misuse of firearms, among others. Adamu said officers and men to be selected must not be from the recently dissolved Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. He said the standard operating procedure SOP, which will act as a protocol that will regulate the processes, conduct and operations of the SWAT teams, is being developed. He added that officers and operatives of the outfit shall be held accountable based on the extent of their compliance with the SOP. Adamu said the personnel will be kitted and specially branded uniforms, kits and accoutrements. Under the new policy, no personnel will be authorized to use any uniform kit or accoutrements other than as approved for the outfit and officially issued to them. On no account must they also undertake any operation without the branded items. The details of this shall be contained in the standard operating procedure of the outfit, he said. The police boss said no personnel of the team shall be engaged without being screened, 
specially trained and certified as a SWAT officer. The basic training will be three weeks long and shall be conducted at the PMF Training College in La Orogun, Oshun State, PMF Training College in Dehewus, Nasarawa State, and PTS Noatai, River State, commencing from Sunday, 18th October 2020. The first batch of the training shall comprise of 50 officers and men to be selected from the FCID, the Tasisi State Police Command and the FCT, Adamu said. In order to facilitate the immediate takeoff of the newly approved MPF SWAT team, he directed the DIG, FCID and commissioners of police in each of the 36 states of the Federation and the FCT to screen and select a total of 50 officers and men from each of their commands. He said the DIG, FCID and each commission of police across all the state police commands are to arrange and transport the 50 selected officers in their respective commands to the training colleges for which they are scheduled. All the officers and men must arrive and document on Sunday, 18th October 2020 at their designated training facility, the IGP said. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.